It has been two years since NASA's James Webb Telescope gave us a stunning first look at the depths of our universe. Astronomers have found clear evidence of what could be an Earth 2.0. This artist's rendering shows the rocky planet identified as Proxima b, orbiting the Proxima Centauri star. Discovery of an Earth-like planet one solar system away shows how the surface of the rocky planet might look. It is the closest potentially habitable world ever detected outside our solar system. What if everything we thought we knew about the universe was about to change? The James Webb Space Telescope has captured something astonishing. A real image of Proxima b, a planet just four light years away. And it's unlike anything scientists could have imagined. Could this be the proof we've been searching for? Are we finally staring at signs of alien life? The astonishing revelation of alien city lights. Imagine this, you're sitting in your backyard, staring up at the night sky, when someone whispers, what if there's a city up there? It's the kind of thought that makes you glance twice at the stars, doesn't it? Well, the James Webb Space Telescope, our state-of-the-art cosmic detective, has potentially uncovered something that sounds straight out of a sci-fi blockbuster, city lights. Not here on Earth, not on Mars, but on Proxima Centauri b, a planet seven trillion miles away. Yes, seven trillion. Let that sink in for a moment. Proxima Centauri b orbits the nearest star to our sun, Proxima Centauri, and it's about four light years away. In cosmic terms, that's practically our backyard. For years, scientists have been fascinated by this planet because it sits in the Goldilocks zone, a sweet spot around its star where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist. And where there's water, the potential for life is always on the table. But no one, and I mean no one, expected to see something that looks eerily like city lights twinkling on the planet's night side. City lights on another planet. It's the kind of discovery that makes you question everything you thought you knew about the universe. This wasn't some accidental, oh look, there's a glow moment. The James Webb Telescope, with its incredible infrared imaging capabilities, caught a heat signature that didn't behave like natural light reflected from a star. These lights were steady, consistent, and very intentional looking. Let's talk about the telescope that made this jaw-dropping observation. The James Webb Space Telescope is humanity's most powerful eye in the sky, designed to pick up infrared light that we mere mortals can't see. Infrared light, in case you're wondering, is basically heat energy. JWST specializes in spotting heat patterns in the vast cold darkness of space, making it perfect for studying distant planets like Proxima Centauri b. So when it turned its gaze toward this rocky exoplanet, it didn't just pick up the usual signs of starlight reflecting off a planetary surface. Instead, it detected a strange, consistent glow on the planet's dark side, a glow that immediately got scientists buzzing. Now, before we all start shouting aliens from the rooftops, let's break this down. One possible explanation for these lights could be natural phenomena, like volcanic activity. Imagine rivers of lava glowing so brightly they light up the planet's night side. Cool, right? Except the heat signature doesn't match what scientists would expect from volcanic eruptions. Lava glows, yes, but it also cools down relatively quickly. Whatever is creating this light on Proxima Centauri b seems far more stable and uniform. Another idea is that there could be massive thunderstorms sparking across the surface. But again, the heat pattern doesn't quite fit. And then there's the most thrilling possibility, the one that gives goosebumps to both scientists and dreamers alike. What if these lights are artificial? What if they're created by an advanced civilization harnessing energy to illuminate their world? Picture massive solar panels on the planet's day side, collecting energy from the dim light of Proxima Centauri. That energy could then be used to power the night side, lighting up cities in a way that mimics what we do here on Earth. It's a wild thought, but not entirely implausible. After all, we're looking for signs of life, and artificial light would be a pretty big one. Of course, there's still a lot we don't know. For example, Proxima Centauri b is tidally locked, which means one side of the planet is always in daylight, while the other is perpetually in darkness. If there is life there, and that's still a giant if, it would have to adapt to some pretty extreme conditions. The day side would be scorching hot, while the night side would be freezing cold. The idea of a civilization thriving in such an environment might sound far-fetched, but life has a way of surprising us. Just look at extremophiles here on Earth. 
Those hardy little organisms that thrive in boiling hot geysers or miles beneath the ocean in crushing darkness. So what's next? Scientists are now analyzing the data collected by the James Webb Telescope to try and figure out what's really going on. Is it natural? Is it artificial? And if it is artificial, what does that mean for our understanding of the universe? How the James Webb Telescope is Unveiling Cosmic Secrets The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just a shiny new toy for astronomers. It's a time machine, a heat detector, and a cosmic detective rolled into one. If you've ever wondered how scientists are able to peer into the depths of space and uncover mysteries that make our heads spin, the JWST is the answer. This marvel of engineering is equipped to study everything from baby stars being born to ancient galaxies billions of light years away. And now it's tackling one of humanity's most burning questions. Are we alone in the universe? What makes the JWST so special, you ask? Well, let's start with its incredible ability to see in infrared. Infrared light is essentially heat radiation, and while it's invisible to the human eye, it's incredibly useful for studying objects in space. Why? Because most of the universe is cold and dark. Stars and planets don't always shine brightly in visible light, but they give off heat, even in the icy vacuum of space. JWST can pick up these faint heat signals with its super-sensitive instruments, making it the ultimate tool for finding needles in the cosmic haystack. One of the telescope's coolest features is its massive mirror, which measures over 21 feet across. This mirror is made up of 18 gold-coated hexagons that work together to capture and focus light from distant objects. Think of it as the ultimate satellite dish, except instead of picking up sports channels, it's tuning into the secrets of the universe. To keep the telescope's instruments cold enough to detect faint heat signals, it's equipped with a giant sun shield the size of a tennis court. This shield blocks out the heat from the sun, earth, and moon, allowing JWST to operate at temperatures below minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's dedication to science. But JWST isn't just about fancy equipment, it's about the questions it's helping us answer. By turning its infrared eyes toward Proxima Centauri b, the telescope has given us a glimpse of something extraordinary, heat patterns that don't add up. These patterns could be the key to unlocking whether this distant world is home to life, or at least conditions that could support it. The telescope's ability to detect heat variations with precision means it can study Proxima Centauri b's atmosphere in detail, potentially revealing gases like methane, oxygen, or water vapor, key ingredients for life as we know it. And that's just the beginning. JWST is also equipped to analyze light as it passes through the atmospheres of exoplanets. This process, called spectroscopy, allows scientists to identify the chemical makeup of these atmospheres by studying how different wavelengths of light are absorbed. It's like reading a planet's fingerprint, only instead of ink, we're dealing with molecules. If JWST detects gases like ozone or carbon dioxide in Proxima Centauri b's atmosphere, it could be a strong sign that the planet is more than just a lifeless rock. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. As powerful as JWST is, it has its limitations. For instance, it struggles to detect bound oxygen, a molecule that's essential for life on Earth. That doesn't mean it can't find other signs of life, though. The telescope is perfectly capable of spotting things like chlorofluorocarbons, which are man-made chemicals. If JWST were to detect these on Proxima Centauri b, it would be a pretty solid indicator of an advanced civilization. So what does all this mean for the search for extraterrestrial life? Simply put, JWST is our best bet for finding answers, at least for now. While ground-based telescopes like the Extremely Large Telescope, set to debut in a few years, will eventually take the search to the next level, JWST is already proving that it's worth its weight in gold, literally. Its gold-coated mirrors are helping us unlock mysteries that were once thought to be beyond human reach. And as it continues to study Proxima Centauri b and other intriguing exoplanets, who knows what it might discover next? Which leads us to the next big question. What kind of world is Proxima Centauri b and why is it so fascinating? A mysterious world of extreme contrasts and hidden potential. Proxima Centauri b sounds like the setting for a sci-fi epic, but it's a real place, a rocky exoplanet orbiting the star Proxima Centauri the closest star to our sun. At just over four light years away, it's practically in our cosmic backyard. But don't let the distance fool you. Proxima Centauri b is an enigma wrapped in a mystery, and scientists are only beginning to unravel its secrets. First things first, what do we actually know about this planet? 
Proxima Centauri b is about one and a half times the mass of Earth, making it a super-Earth by astronomical standards. It's tidally locked, which means one side of the planet is always facing its star, while the other side is in perpetual darkness. This setup creates a world of extreme contrast where temperatures could range from scorching hot to freezing cold depending on which side you're standing on. If you're picturing a planet that's half desert and half Arctic wasteland, you're not far off. But here's where things get interesting. Despite its harsh environment, Proxima Centauri b sits in the habitable zone of its star, meaning it's just the right distance to potentially have liquid water on its surface. Water, as we all know, is the key ingredient for life. The big question is whether Proxima Centauri b has an atmosphere thick enough to distribute heat between its day and night sides. If it does, the planet could support a temperate twilight zone, where conditions are just right for life to thrive. If it doesn't, well, let's just say it would be a lot less cozy. One of the most intriguing aspects of Proxima Centauri b is the possibility of tidal locking. While this might sound like a deal breaker for habitability, it's not necessarily a bad thing. The constant sunlight on the day side could power massive solar farms if an advanced civilization exists there, while the night side could serve as a cooler refuge. This setup might even explain the strange lights spotted by JWST. Could an intelligent species be using energy from the day side to illuminate their night side? It's a tantalizing thought. But life on Proxima Centauri b wouldn't be easy. The planet is bombarded by intense radiation from its star, including ultraviolet and X-rays. Without a strong magnetic field, its atmosphere could be stripped away over time, leaving it vulnerable to the harsh conditions of space. And yet the mere possibility of life, whether it's microscopic extremophiles or intelligent beings, is enough to keep scientists intrigued. So what's the next step? Astronomers are using JWST to study the planet's atmosphere in detail, looking for signs of gases that could indicate habitability. At the same time, they're keeping an eye out for any other anomalies that might hint at artificial activity. The idea of discovering life on Proxima Centauri b is both thrilling and humbling, isn't it? The relentless quest to uncover life in the universe. For as long as humans have gazed up at the stars, we've wondered if someone, or something, might be out there wondering about us too. The search for extraterrestrial life has been a cornerstone of our curiosity. From ancient myths about celestial beings to modern scientific missions equipped with the best technology we can muster. Yet despite decades of searching, we've come up empty-handed. Or have we? The discovery of what appear to be city-like lights on Proxima Centauri b has reignited the fire of our relentless quest. With scientists and dreamers alike daring to ask, is this the breakthrough we've been waiting for? But let's back up a little. Why is finding life so hard? Well, the universe is incomprehensibly vast. Imagine trying to find a single grain of sand in all the world's oceans, except in this case, the ocean is the universe, and the grain of sand is a planet with life on it. The odds aren't exactly in our favor. On top of that, life as we know it requires very specific conditions, liquid water, a stable atmosphere, and a hospitable temperature range, to name a few. Finding planets that meet these criteria is like winning the lottery except the jackpot is the discovery of alien life. The search for life faces the challenge of distinguishing between signals produced by living organisms and those created by natural processes. For instance, volcanoes can release methane, just like microbes can. How do we tell the difference? The answer lies in studying the chemical context of these signals, but that requires incredibly precise instruments and a lot of time. Scientists are working on it though, and every piece of data brings us one step closer to understanding whether we're alone in the universe. And then there's the question of intelligent life. Finding microbes or plants on another planet would be groundbreaking, but what about civilizations advanced enough to build cities, communicate, or even travel through space? That's the dream, isn't it? Organizations like the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence have spent decades scanning the skies for radio signals that might indicate the presence of intelligent beings. So far, they've come up short, but the recent observations from Proxima Centauri b have injected fresh hope into this pursuit. Let's say for a moment that the lights on Proxima Centauri b really are artificial. What does that mean for us? Well, it would change everything. We'd no longer be the only known intelligent species in the universe. Questions about their culture, technology, and even intentions would dominate every scientific discussion, and probably a lot of dinner table conversations too. But before we start planning interstellar diplomacy, 
we need more evidence. Are these lights truly artificial, or is there a natural explanation we just haven't thought of yet? The quest for life is relentless because the stakes are so high. Finding even a single microorganism outside of Earth would prove that life isn't a cosmic fluke. It's a natural consequence of the universe's conditions. Finding intelligent life? That's a whole other level. One that would force us to rethink everything we know about ourselves and our place in the cosmos. So how will future technology help us go even deeper in our search for life? A bold vision for the future of space exploration. As impressive as the James Webb Space Telescope is, it's just the beginning. The hunt for life beyond Earth is entering a new era, one driven by ambitious technologies and groundbreaking ideas that promise to take our exploration to unprecedented heights. If Proxima Centauri B is the tantalizing mystery at the heart of the cosmos, future missions aim to solve it and many others like it. An innovation in the works is the use of star shades, giant flower-shaped shields that block out a star's light so telescopes can better observe the faint planets orbiting it. Think of it like shading your eyes from the sun to see something in the distance more clearly. By reducing the glare from stars, star shades would allow telescopes to study planets that are currently too dim to detect. This could open up a whole new range of targets in the search for life, but the vision doesn't stop there. NASA and other space agencies are already brainstorming missions that could one day send probes to nearby star systems including Proxima Centauri. These probes, traveling at a significant fraction of the speed of light, could reach their destination within a few decades and send back data about what they find. Imagine receiving images of Proxima Centauri B surface, or even samples of its atmosphere, delivered to us from four light years away. It sounds like science fiction, but it's a goal that many scientists believe is achievable within this century. One of the biggest hurdles in future exploration is the need to distinguish between false positives and genuine signs of life. For example, gases like chlorofluorocarbons are often considered indicators of advanced civilizations because they're typically produced by industrial processes. But if we find CFCs on another planet, how can we be sure they weren't created by a natural process we don't yet understand? Solving this puzzle will require a combination of advanced technology, creative thinking, and collaboration between scientists across the globe. Then there's the question of where to look. While planets like Proxima Centauri b are obvious targets, scientists are also exploring less conventional options. Red dwarf stars, for instance, are cooler and dimmer than our sun, but they make up the majority of stars in the galaxy. Many of these stars have planets in their habitable zones, and while the conditions on these planets might be harsh, they could still support life especially life forms that thrive in extreme environments. And let's not forget the potential for life within our own solar system. Moons like Europa and Enceladus, which have subsurface oceans beneath their icy crusts, are prime candidates for microbial life. Missions like the Europa Clipper and proposed Enceladus Orbilander aim to investigate these moons in the coming decades, bringing us closer to answering the age-old question, is there life in our cosmic neighborhood? The future of space exploration is bright, perhaps as bright as those mysterious lights on Proxima Centauri b. Whether we're building telescopes the size of skyscrapers, sending probes to distant stars, or uncovering the secrets of icy moons, humanity's quest to understand the universe is only just beginning. The discoveries we've made so far, including the tantalizing hints from JWST, are just the tip of the iceberg. The universe is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. And with each discovery, we inch closer to answering the ultimate question, are we alone? What do you think? Is there intelligent life out there? Or are these city lights just a cosmic coincidence? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic wonders.